Hey guys, Dan C. Bearded here, and I just got back from a Florida vacation. Did a lot of work too, but spent time with the family, amazing time. And I just wanted to give you guys some thoughts I have for protecting your beard while you're on vacation, and then also demonstrating, ah, that's why we're in the bathroom today. Yeah, so I wanted to be authentic and demonstrate accurately what I do after a vacation. And I will explain what I mean by that. But welcome everybody. I don't even think I asked on the last bathroom video, but if you guys could hit that thumbs up. If you're new here, consider subscribing. And I do love comments from you guys. So thank you. Got a little mustache hair in my peripherals, but we got it. And a couple of things. I have covered the first half of this video on videos before, but I wanna make it quick and easy and new for people that are new to the channel, maybe didn't find that information. If you go on vacation, you're likely going to be in salt water or some kind of chlorine or some treated water, water from pools and hot tubs. Those are not good for your beard. Salt water, it's okay. It's not, it's not bad. It's not going to kill your beard. It's not ideal, but it's okay. Chlorine, one of the worst things you can do to your beard. However, I don't want any of you missing family or fun time. I don't want any guy sitting on the side of the pool being like, I can't get in because of my beard. No, 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 no. We're going to go have fun. We're going to do our best and your beard will be okay. In the moment, if you're going to get in a pool, a hot tub, the ocean, anywhere where your beard's going to be compromised, very simple. We could go into more detail on those previous videos you want to go check, but very simple. Please beforehand, make sure your beard is wet and completely saturated with fresh water when you're getting it. Most pools have a little like shower thing. Just get your beard nice and fresh with some water. And then a lot of different uh, spots where you have like the ocean beaches and stuff have the same thing. If not, bring a spray bottle, use a water bottle. Just simply get your beard wet. Why? Because our beard is porous. It has openings. Those hairs are going to fill with fresh water and it's going to do its best job to keep it in there and keep the other stuff out. Now, I know some of you are thinking, but Dan, shouldn't I coat it with like wax, balm, butter to put it out or layer? You can. That definitely will do with some protecting. I personally just don't want to be the guy at the beach that has like butter dripping from my beard. I don't want to be the guy at the beach that has like a disco show going on because the sun is hitting my beard and just it looks like a greasy like mess. I have no interest in that. So I'm just going to go enjoy it and then I'm going to do my best afterwards by washing as quickly as I can using a good quality nourishing oil and a good quality nourishing beard butter. As long as you do that, you're going to be fine. Now, if it's every day for years, meh, chlorine might add up a little bit, but when you're on vacation, have fun. Fresh water before, wash oil butter afterwards. Boom, okay. Now the real demonstration. I am home from a week of vacation. We spent like six days in Florida, two days driving there, two days driving back. So I'm well over a week now. And I didn't drink my water like I should because I was on vacation. I was in pools, I was in hot tubs, I was in salt water air, I was with the heat. I probably didn't have the best routine. I didn't take my, my vitamins every day like I should. All of the things I should not be doing to my beard, I ate terrible, all the things I did. My beard's gonna feel that. My beard's gonna bounce back. I don't really have much of a problem with split ends unless I take about 10 days off and I abuse my beard. So what I do after every vacation, it's actually kind of therapeutic and I kind of enjoy it, is I just analyze my beard for split ends. So what I do is I just get a little pair of scissors, shears, whatever the heck you want to call them. And I usually go in my bathroom because I have good lights right here, as you guys can tell on the lighting. I have natural light from behind and I've got a good like area in front of me with a sink. I actually have a towel down right now to not make too much of a mess. And I legitimately have not looked at my beard yet. So I don't know if I have split ends. This might be like, hey guys, I don't have them, but this is what I do. And if I do have some, I'll show you guys. So the way I find my split ends is I just take my arm and I push my beard up like this and I get it over a, a, a color surface that's easy for me to see. My beard's that like, I don't know, strawberry blonde cornucopia of colors. I have like a white countertop and sink. If I just slide my towel to the side a little bit, and I'm just gonna analyze. And I'm just gonna see, I also have a white wall, which helps out as well. And so you're just looking. You're looking for knots. You're looking for split ends. I normally start from the bottom and then work my way up. I usually start from like the middle and then work my way to the sides. And I did trim before my vacation, I believe in the week or two prior. So I shouldn't have too many. All right, but I have one here. So I got one that's sim 
similar. So it's not a full split end, but essentially, and you guys aren't going to be able to see it, but essentially it's the hair is a solid shaft. It ends and then there's like a little piece coming out. That's damage. It, it doesn't look like your traditional split. All I'm going to do here is I just have a little piece, boom, clip it off. Now I have a flat end. If the ends of the hairs are uneven or jagged or split, you do want to get rid of those, the, the end part because it's never gonna repair itself. There's no product that's gonna fix it. So you wanna clip it before it starts to split farther up the hair or before it grabs other hairs and causes problems. If you guys have ever been combing and you caught a nasty tangle snag and you ripped a couple hairs out, I would bet a lot that one of those hairs at least was split or you had a knot in it. And mine aren't doing too bad. I have a couple of these ones where it's like, just starting a split end, boom, and just clip them off, guys. I, I cannot tell you enough how relaxing and like satisfying and therapeutic this can be. When you find one, it's almost like a reward, and I've not seen myself much on this video, so I might look ridiculous, but that's okay. When I lead with trying to help people, if the result is me looking ridiculous, I can live with that. All right, and then also, as I'm just kind of talking while you guys are watching here, I had someone recently asked me, good question. They were genuine and authentic. They said, hey, with, with you doing this for so long, you're at like almost 2,000 videos, how do you keep your content interesting? And my answer was, I enjoy making it, and I've always believed if people enjoy doing something, people will enjoy watching them, will be, enjoy being around them, would enjoy consuming their content, and so for me, it's just genuinely that simple. I don't ever think to myself, oh, how can I make something crazy? How can I make it interesting? How can I one up myself? I just really like this stuff. And I only think through the lens of, huh, I do this. I wonder if it'll help people. And then I put it out there. And that's kind of what this video is. So I'm going to continue to do this every once in a while. I will comb my beard to kind of reset. Sometimes hairs get into a place that you don't quite see. Just get that arm up. I don't care what length your beard is. This is a good habit to begin once you get back from a vacation. So down below, let me know your questions about chlorine, about salt water, about vacation, about afterwards. Pound the water, get back to your healthy habits. Just go about your routine and your beard will be okay. Can't wait to read those comments and questions down below. You guys, thank you for watching so much. My name is Dan C. Bearded. Please stay bearded and stay positive.